and they are looking at it. You know, we, we understand what happened with Cameroonian football before this AFCON. These guys are saying we can put our names in the history books. Sure. They know they've not got uh, the big names like Roger Mille, mm -hmm. Samuel Eto, right. uh, you know, and the other big Cameroonian stars. But these guys want to create an impression. They want to tell the world that this is a new generation of Cameroonian players. We have what it takes to actually make our own names and go on to become probably one of the best sides in the tournament. You know, when I see boys like uh, uh, Tike, who is just coming up, you know, that he, he's been very, very fantastic. And of course, the goalkeeper, uh, wow. Yeah, he I mean, been, for yeah, a 21-year-old, yeah. he's been amazing. Mm -hmm. For me, he's already the keeper of the tournament. Wow. You know? He's been amazing, and he's going to play a major role when they play Ghana. You know, Ghana, an attacking side. The, the, of course, Christian, Christian Asu is going to cause them problems. Mm. If Captain Samoa Gian is... is uh, is, is fit for the match. I, 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 I know he's going to cause problems as well. They are you brothers. You never can predict them. This, they got them to this stage that they are now. You know, and, and I think for me, it's going to be a classic. That's right. But Cameroon always have mm. that edge mm. when in big games like this on the continent. Uh, Grace, see, like, I see the way those old men were <laughs> There's something about success. You see, they, sometimes like, don't they all fall. You know? like, I mean, success wait, wait, is uh, sweet. I, I think maybe what was going through his oh mind at that time was like, okay, you big boys didn't want to play, but I've got some guys who can actually do that. And uh -huh. now we are in the semis, you wow. know, just like sending a strong message to them. Yes, because it's, <laughs> like, Atana, it's team sports. One person cannot, or two or three persons, even four or five footballers cannot say without us, this team cannot exist. They can't. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't happen. I think the, it doesn't the situation happen. from Nigeria in 2013, when we went you know, to the nation's school, practically majority of the players were oh, home-based oh. players, you know, mm. unknown players and all that. So they didn't know who to actually hold. But Cameroon, about three of the players we know, but the others we don't really know. Yeah. So these guys obviously want to prove themselves. But as yeah. you said, Egypt, because of Ad Hadri, I think they should just uh, get <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so you yeah. just steal the record. Uh, okay. You understand, you steal the record. You know, oh, let's go three times in a row, he won it, and three it's times okay. they couldn't come, and now mm. they are back. Mm. They can actually take it. After all, Nigeria is not there. So when we get back, we'll definitely be tripping back. Okay, you know, we'll talk a little bit about the English Premier League right. now. Some of the games that went down, you know, last night. And Chelsea, Liverpool, it was always going to go either way. But I think some clubs by Manchester United should be happy right now because of what happened. Maybe yeah. finally, if they get to win tonight, they will leave the sixth position that they've been placed permanently for a while now. Well, uh, they, they had uh, chances uh, before now. They couldn't. And I, I'm a United fan, but I, I, I wouldn't say I've lost hope, but I think uh, they're playing I, I, hard. Don't, no I, hope. I don't really know. Well, hold on. They're you, playing hard. You, you watched uh, them against Hull in the EFL. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> for me, I, I, I thought United were playing against the Barcelona side, and that's so you never can write off such teams. Okay, you're you thinking they will still be fourth. <laughs> they will still be fourth. They will still be sixth. I mean, <laughs> well, if, if they take their chances, hopefully okay. they, they can move up. But okay. what about City? You have to get your own points, and City are as well fighting for their own points. So mm -hmm. they had the chance before then, and they missed it. So it's really going to be difficult now. They are two points behind City. Wow, and so. I mean, are you sure City is going to lose? Are they going to get a draw? So these are the things you, you have to you put into consideration. Okay. But they're going to spend more days on that sixth position anyway. Okay, results from last night. Crystal Palace beating Bournemouth for two goals to nothing. And Watford, their first win in a long while. Yeah. I mean, over uh, Arsenal. Yeah. I think they had to celebrate that. Troy Gini back to scoring again. But only on Leicester City. Leicester, okay, relegation calling. Middlesbrough and West Brom. It was 1-1. And Sunderland and Tottenham. Tottenham were her to a one or draw alter. Goalless in that one. Swansea so so City and Saddam Fame. I think the fallout, fallout of that final bashing from Asna in, in the FA Cup <laughs> is still in them. They lost to Swansea City 2 uh, 1. And Liverpool and Chelsea, the game of the night, it ended 1 1. So if you check all the teams above United, they they all drop points and all yeah. that. So it tells you that they can. They need All they need to do now, just win, is within you now, get the three points and leave. Your permanent position for a while. West, haven't played. West Ham United and Manchester City. I'm not too afraid of Manchester City because at this is they've not been consistent. So we don't know what's going to happen to them at West Ham. So I think United will just get the chance to at least leave that position because the difference is just 46 and 43. That's the way it is. Yeah, it, it's still open to some extent, open. you know, but at that you, at this you level, don't see them leaving that uh, it, at all. it's really going to. They may, you know, but it's really <laughs> going to be difficult because everybody want to be. I mean, the top six teams, all of them want to be in the top four, and those who are there already wants to consolidate and remain and there. So there. it's really going to be very, very difficult. But let's see how it pans out. If the, the the six teams have got fantastic managers, you know, they can always spring surprises. So we never know what can happen. But hopefully, 
I will be praying to see a United side in the top four. Okay, Alex will be made his 50th appearance for us now. Yeah. And he had to twist about it because he also scored for them. But unfortunately, they, they win. And he wrote that disappointing result. Got to pick our heads up and go again. Happy to have marked my 50th appearance for us now with a, a goal. He gave them that. We thought they were going to come back. But somehow, what Paul said, they know what they're fighting. They need to actually avoid the drop this season. And somehow, they were able to move from there. Then for Marcos Alonso from Chelsea, he says we're unlucky not to get the three point tonight. Away fans are standing once again. So, well, that draw, was it unlucky? Okay, because of Diego Costa's yeah. penalty miss. Maybe they could have been able to get that. The one coming from Cesar uh, Aspicueta, he says, uh, well, it's a good job, team. Let's keep on. Let's fight the draw. Yeah, yeah, happy with yeah, it. Yeah, good one. But, but let's, let's come back to us now, Watford uh, and Tana. You see, that's... <laughs> to win, to win <laughs> titles, one word is needed. Consistency. The Gunners beat Southampton away. Now we get pick In the FA Cup. I'm being used. And, and, no, 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 no. It's <laughs> us now that play the Tana. Okay. And then you come to play Watford at home. And you understand <laughs> the importance of that. And you lose to one. That's a scenario that we've come to know. Talking as if it's just if, delivery. If you want to win, you must be consistent, like you said. Yeah. And over the years, they've been consistent in such performances. So you can't win an EPL that has tough teams with some of the best coaches in the world with such kind of performance.